I don't normally do this here on my channel, but I do need to rant a little bit because my heart is just broken right now. And, and it's broken because of this article right here that came out on uh, comicbook.com. Uh, it came out a few days ago, February the 8th, came out last week. Dragonlance live action project not moving forward, according to Joe Mega, Meganello. Meganello, sorry, I always mispronounce his name. This just broke my heart. Um, this is why I need to rant about this. When it comes to pop culture now, when it comes to gaming, when it comes to movies and TV, to be honest, all the new stuff, I really have no interest in at all. Like, there's just nothing that's being made right now that I have any interest in. Very little new things that I actually enjoy. Um, and it's not because I'm a hater. It's just because it's not good. You know, it's just it's poor writing, poor acting, poor directing, poor editing, poor special effects. Like, just everything's bad. So I've just moved on. And I'm just getting back into other things that I really, really love. Old books, old comic books, old movies, old role-playing games, old board games. I'm just having a blast doing that. But this I was looking forward to. This Dragonlance live action project. I was so looking forward to this. And this is the heartbreaking part of it right here. Uh, it says right here that's highlighted, right? Megan Ellis said that the planned project was not moving forward due to several issues including Hasbro's sale of the E1 studio and the poor performance of Dragonlance D&D Adventure and board game in 2022 as reasons why the project was not proceeding. Now, this is why I feel I need to rant just a little bit. Um, the reason why it didn't sell, it wasn't very good. <laughs> this is the problem. It's, and this is what I find so heartbreaking about this is these companies own these products that they still protect the time. Like they, they've been around for 40 years. And the reason they've been around for 40, 50, 60 years, depending on the IP, the reason why they've got they've just they've stood the test of time is that they were good. And they weren't about a certain ideology or certain time frame or a certain snapshot of history are timeless. That's why you can watch A New Hope, Star Wars A New Hope today and still love it. That's why you can read The Lord of the Rings today and still love it. It's timeless. But the stuff that's coming up today is not timeless. It's, we got to make this new for a modern day audience. And, and that's what Dragonlance did. Like I've talked about this on my channel, you know, the Dragonlance Shadow of the Dragon Queen um, module. It wasn't good. Like it, it didn't feel like Dragonlance, like, you know, like Kinder, they're not Kinder, they're just short people, like, it doesn't have the tension and the drama that Dragonlance has. So these companies own these products, they try to make them new and modern, and they just mess it. And then they have to cancel and cancel and cancel things because the people who actually love this stuff, who want to make something good, can't because they keep making these decisions to just scrap them and make them so dumb. Like, like I'm a huge Dragonlance fan. Like, like this is my geek corner here. Like this shelf and this shelf and this shelf and this shelf is nothing but Dragonlance books. This is timeless stories here. Characters and you know, male and female and elves and dwarves and kinder and half elves and humans all mashed up in the Trials and tribulations of good versus evil. It's classic fantasy. That's timeless. And they just keep messing this stuff up. And so, like this article, you know, just kind of just it just breaks my heart. You know, like in the interview, like he spoke about the work he's been attempting to turn the Dragonlance novel series. You know, he attempted to get this done as a series. And even having, you know, uh, Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman involved with it, you know, and they're all about it, you know, it was really getting in there and fleshing out the world that they were built and the world they hinted at some places didn't shine a magnifying glass on. Like, there was, like, so much possibility here. And just to see this die, 
you know, again, you're seeing here like the pilot, the script, the pilot was well received by those of outside of Hasbro and E1. Uh, like everyone was excited about this. You know, like, like like this one, like there was another executive that read it and said it was one of the best fantasy scripts he's ever read. Like this is like so hyped. And now just to have this completely die because Hasbro doesn't understand what they own. They they don't understand what they own with Dungeons and Dragons. They don't understand what they own with Hasbro. And they just keep upsetting their fans. And they just keep getting people to leave and go find something else to do. Oh, sorry. I'm not normally a ranter. I try to be a little bit more hope-filled here on my channel. But this just breaks my heart. The one last thing that I was looking forward to is Dawn. Thankfully, I've got all these Dragonlance books. I've got the Genesis role-playing game system. And I'm in the process of converting... Dragonlance into the Genesis RPG. A bunch of people have started this online and I want to jump in and continue that and you can find videos about that over here. Jump in and be a part of the conversation there. So end of rant. Let me tell you what you think. Or you tell me what you think. You tell you, you tell yeah, you tell me what you think about this Dragonlance series being canceled are you surprised were you hanging on to hope that this was going to happen put that down in the comments and thank you so much for being a part of the community here all the proceeds of my youtube channel go to help kids in guatemala through compassion canada so i really appreciate you being a part of the community here so until the next video and we'll try to do something a little bit more positive until the next video god bless you we'll talk to you later